Hello and welcome to the first episode of True Start Coffee's new short vid series, Dive In. So we're going to be occasionally um, providing you these short videos where we'll be diving into topics that you guys want to hear um, and relevance to the brand, coffee, whatever you guys want to hear. So our first episode, we've been joined by the amazing Helena, oh. our co-founder <laughs> at True Start Coffee. And Arthur. And little Arthur. Baby Arthur's sleeping. <laughs> we don't want to wake him up. But. It's like our little True Start mascot. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and our first um, dive in series is we're going to be diving into our new hot coffee range and Helena's here to tell us all about it. Yes. So Helena, do you want to introduce the range and sort of tell us why it's followed our amazing guilt-free cold brew? Yeah, absolutely. This is Paige, by the way. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to introduce myself. Hi. Paige, our amazing brand manager. <laughs> Hi Paige. Um, so yeah, our hot coffee, I'm literally mega pumped uh, for this to finally be out there. Um, we. True Start is all about being a vibrant, clean coffee that makes you feel amazing. And we want to make our feel good coffee available like wherever, whenever, and why ever you actually yeah. need a coffee, a coffee kick. And our drinks are really refreshing and they're brilliant for on the go, like especially. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, a lot of us want a, a good, like hot coffee yeah. when we're at home in particular yeah. and in the office as well. And our OG, our Energizing Colombian Beans, which are the yellow one, um, so they've been around for ages um, in our cafe uh, here in Bristol and in loads of other cafes and offices across the UK. And people have been buying them in the sort of big bags especially to take home. So we've had it on our radar for a while to probably yeah. package them up uh, for retail, but we wanted to coincide it with extending the range um, to give you more choice ultimately yeah. and um that's exactly what we've done Amazing. we've got two awesome new new options new origins it's almost like a morning pick me up uh, or get me up and uh, a midday pick me up yes please. <laughs> i just literally mix it up all the time i had a can of cold brew for breakfast this morning at home and i'm having another one here in the office um but yeah for whatever you fancy yeah that's the whole, whole idea exactly like having choose that across your whole coffee repertoire yeah. Good word. <laughs> Coffee all day, every day. Yeah, exactly. So tell us more about the, the different origins and the taste. So I know we've got the Honduran here and the Ethiopian. Do you want to just sort of explain why those origins sort of... Yeah. Just being the energising Colombian. So we ultimately chose them based on distinctiveness mm -hmm. and variety and vibrancy as well and a clean, consistent taste and... Honestly, pretty much it boiled down to Simon and I's gut feel yeah. when we tasted them. We were like, they have, they have to make you feel amazing. So that's exactly what, what these two did. And they're really different to each other because the whole idea is to give you more choice. And so there's something for every like, yeah. coffee pr preference, if that makes sense. So for, first up, you've got our, our green guy, our Honduran. Really, really amazing, amazing bean. It's really vibrant. Basically this is a pancake <laughs> so so it's it's got like sort of buttery golden syrupy mm. like lemony vibes and it just it's just absolutely amazing yeah. it's wet processed it's washed um so you can really taste the flavors that are like inherent to the coffee uh -huh. bean um amazing and then you've got our pink guy our ethiopian really lively choice yes. <laughs> it's amazing and um, the honduran one is like really sweet yes. it makes like the sweetest espresso i've ever tasted you can't you can't actually believe it doesn't have sugar in it yeah. it's like then that was part of it it's just so so special the ethiopian one's completely different it's like really earthy and floral mm. and it's kind of got like praline i never know how you say that praline i always go praline do you <laughs> pra praline <laughs> <laughs> praline demerary sugary mm. vibes um, so, so yeah, totally different to the Honduran one, and again, just a really special coffee. So that one's naturally processed, um, which natural processing is when, so a coffee bean yes. is actually the seed inside a small piece of fruit. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Um, called a cherry. So with naturally processed coffee, the cherry is dried. Um, on sort of raised beds in the sun over a period of a few weeks and they're turned over 
And because the bean, the seed, is drying inside the fruit, the sugar that's naturally in the fruit, like, changes the taste of the bean oh, as wow. it dries. So the result is like a, a coffee that coats your mouth. It's really mm. full of flavour. This one's got a bit of a boozy finish almost, which is really special. Um, whereas wet processed coffee, the fruit and the seed are separated um, and then it's all washed so you get much more of a, a, a sort of inherent to the bean flavour of coffee, if that makes sense, as opposed to something that's been changed by the fruit. So they're both equally awesome but very different mm. to each other, if that makes sense. Yes, definitely <laughs> makes sense. And I've definitely learned something new. Every day is a school day. But I know the beans are really important to you and I know that our two new enticing flavours are sort of fair trade um, and organic. So do you yeah. want to sort of just explain the sourcing and the, the sustainable sourcing of the range? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every decision that we make as True Star is really, so I might put a lot of thought into it. Mm -hmm. Like we're, we're ultimately doing this to prove that you can build like an iconic brand that makes people feel awesome without compromising on people and the planet so we're not making decisions from like a soulless corporate office that's based purely on profit like the beating heart of true start is is the people and the impact that we can yeah. have on our planet and that's why we're on the path to b corp to becoming a b corp which is really exciting it's Bit of a side note. Yeah, maybe we say, should do another, video, yeah, yeah, another, another dive in on that, maybe with Simon. <laughs> um, but basically, Simon, I put a lot of thought into every decision yeah. we make. So each of the beans, what's interesting with coffee is you can't really take a blanket approach to ethical sourcing of coffee. Yeah. Every region, every country is really different. And branching out of Colombia, which is where our energising Colombian, obviously, our yellow one is from, That that's kind of easy because I used to live in Colombia, yeah. so... I spent some time there and I know a bit more about it, but we had to learn about new regions, new countries with the Honduran and the Ethiopian. Mm -hmm. So, our Honduran, this is actually a triple threat. It is triple certified. <laughs> um, so it's organic and fair trade, as you just said, but it's also certified by our friends over at the Rainforest Alliance. Um, it is grown by the Cocafilol Cooperative Amazing. in Western Honduras, in a really mountainous region called the Ocotepeque region. Um, bit of a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's grown by a collection of smallholder farmers, yeah. uh, which is the Cocafelol Cooperative. Um, and the Ethiopian, so this is also from a collection of smallholder farmers, actually in Western Ethiopia as well, mm -hmm. Western Honduras, Western Ethiopia, um, a region called the Lakemte region. Mm -hmm. Um, and the cooperative, called the Bulachala Cooperative, is made up of 1,600 hectares of classic Colombia, Colombian, Ethiopian um, heirloom beans, yeah. Arabica beans. So all of these are specialty grade, all of these are Arabica and all of these are single origin. Um, so yeah, it's also organic and fair trade, like you said, and all of them are hand roasted daily here in Bristol. Bristol. And we roast them so that they are so smooth that the idea is you don't need to add milk and sugar mm -hmm. to have an amazing coffee because True Start is clean, it's vibrant. I mean, you can have milk and sugar if you want. I'm not going to judge you <laughs> if you do, but you just don't have to. No. Bring in black. Bring in back the black brew. Like it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Back to black. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> so, so how do you serve your hot coffee in the morning? Like, are you a cafetiere? Or... Oh, no, I'm not. You're not? No, cafetiere's why me out. I don't know why. <laughs> so, I use a V60. Um, wind me up is the wrong word. I've got no beef with the cat yet. <laughs> um, so basically, I think it was only last year, discovered V60s. Um, I have like a metal filter, which I like because A, you don't use paper filters, so Amazing. there's no waste. Uh, but also the oils don't get caught up and taken off with the paper filter. They come into the coffee, which is brilliant, which is nice. Um, so I have a, a V60 filter um, and... I make my coffee within a couple of minutes. I like a convenient. So how does that work? Does does the filter go in a jug? Does it go over your mug? How does it work? Do you know what? We should do like a little side take on this podcast. To I'll sh I'll get the V60 out in the cafe downstairs yeah. and we'll show everyone. Well, have another clip. But yeah, you like you put your ground coffee into the V60 and it's it's like a a metal upside down. It's like a cone like that, <laughs> on a base and you put it on top of your mug and it's got coffee in it 
and you pour the coffee in, in a little bit and then it I think it's called it blooms. Mm. Yeah, love, love, it, love, a bit of the, love a bit of the bullshit game, it blooms. <laughs> and then you pour the rest of the coffee in little circles around and it literally takes a couple of minutes and it makes a really nice, I, th I feel like the flavour that comes out of the V60 is just way better than cafetiere. Okay. That was why I was being mean to cafetiers. But top tip. Yeah, yeah, it's a top tip, it's so easy to make. That's how I like my coffee. Amazing. Yeah. Anything else you want to add about the range apart from the vibrant packaging? Mmm, you were talking to me a minute ago about which is my favourite. So it's kind of been, a bit, it's been on my mind because it's so hard to decide. The whole point is we actually love all like three of them. Yeah, I know, it really is. Um, so, and loads of people have actually asked me that since they launched. So basically the yellow one, the OG, is where my heart is at because obviously it is. It's our original Colombian brew, but the Honduran one, literally blew me away the first time I tasted it because it was so sweet I couldn't get my head around it yeah um no it's so amazing so I think that we, just because it's so special in that way um but then the Ethiopian one is amazing as well it's hard it's hard to decide exactly. I'm excited to see what everyone else's favorite yeah. is like which one ends up being the most popular and why and why what people love about it but yeah I'm just really excited for you all to taste them and we're really proud of them. Which is your favourite page? I'm a Honduran girl. Through and through. It is good. I like it's to, um, the bags have got like a little air hole at the, at the back and yeah. every so often it I just like to Yeah. it. It smells We kind of sit there at our desks like, oh, <laughs> oh that one's beans so it's not quite as easy to smell. The ground one's amazing to smell. Mmm. Oh, Which you can smell the coffee in this room. Yeah. Smell a vision. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Any questions? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, get in touch. YouTube, we're going to throw some yeah. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, so. comments. Um, yeah. And we always love to hear what you think. So um, if you've got any suggestions for future topics that you want, either myself, Hannah, or the rest of the, the True Start team are going to be making uh, many appearances yeah. um, on this vid series. So, And if you talk to us on social media, it's Paige you're talking to. Face behind the page. <laughs> um, uh, Oh, it's funny. Great. That is funny. Um, <laughs> and then we've got dive in at truestartcoffee.com if you want to email in. Go to truestartcoffee.com if you want to check out the range and read more about it as well. Amazing. Can't wait to hear what you think. Yeah. And uh, see you on the next one. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.